Alright guys, now it's time to see if this thing's gonna charge. So let's see if it works. There it goes. So when you have two red LEDs running, um, it means it's charging. And when the second one over here, LED turns green, that means it's fully charged at its max voltage. So looks like it's working. So awesome. All right guys, so here's my charger, the lithium ion battery. Um, still charging, everything's going good, no smoke yet. Um, just waiting, just testing it, make sure it's not gonna overheat and smoke and things like that. And I'm gonna charge it for a little while and then I'm gonna check across all the, uh, check all, all across the, uh, the battery and make sure everything's you know, balancing well, um, things like that before I cover it. Um, I was going to show you the specs on this guy. I kind of see where it's, you know, 4 point or 5.4, 54.6 and then at 4 amp and, you know, my voltage for my, for my house. And now uh, you can see the LED uh, lighting here, indicators uh, when charging. So other than that, it's pretty simple and easy. There's no switch. You just basically plug it in and then plug it into the battery and you're off and running. So. Uh, all I have left on this guy is to get the thicker wiring for the actual controller and motor because um, that's going to be separate and I'll cover it. Alright, all right, here it is. I covered it um, in this black old airplane material covering because I didn't, I didn't have anything to really cover it with. You know, it's pretty pretty good size. I found some stuff on eBay that might do it, which uh, I'm going to go ahead and order. But for now, I just wanted to protect it, and uh, this is what I covered it in. And uh, I've had this material for like 10 years, and it shows because it was a nightmare to get this to stick and uh, perform how I wanted it to to really make it look good. So uh, this is the side here where the wires come out. I got my charging port here, uh, charging wires, and then this is my, my port, and then I just plug this into there, and which I'll probably keep it in there all the time anyways and then I've got the uh, the main bus wires right here that are going to go to my controller um, it's pretty thick stuff I think it's like 8 gauge um, what I may do is step it down to uh, 12 uh, just before the controller I just wanted to minimize you know uh, loss and you know heat and things like that so but yeah that's pretty much it for now and uh, if you guys have any comments just uh, let me know and you know, if I need to revise anything, I'll be glad to. So, thanks.